Clash Royale is a massive game, and many people, including myself, play it literally daily. But even though I like the game and I often play it, there is a lot that is annoying as hell. Today on Game Ranks, we are going to talk about 10 things players hate about Clash Royale. Number 10, and this is a problem in Clash of Clans as well, chat bubbles have a character limit. They will not display more text than that character limit. There are no exceptions, no bending the rules, nothing to get around it. However, unlike every single other service that has a character limit on what you can type, it does not tell you that you are over that limit. It just lets you go. You're like, I just maxed out the hog rider, it took me a long time and I put all of my resources towards upgrading that hog rider, but I finally made it, I finally did it, I believed in myself and I was able to achieve. And I am so happy, I'm literally ready Ready to have a party and it's like I just maxed out the hog rider and it took me like no I literally just wrote an essay about this why did I not remember that supercell doesn't give a shit what I have to say number nine I hate that units will just leave a target if your tower is about to kill them now I understand that it's about timing, and if something else is going to kill them before that unit kills them, that the game says for them to leave it, but like, it just feels so irresponsible on their part. You stay there till the job is done! You are not protecting your fearless leader. You are leaving the work to others. For shame, I say unto you. For shame, Ice Wizard. I'm sorry, good king. Sorry doesn't fix my tower, Ice Wizard! Number eight, how long it can take to get a legendary card, which by the way is forever, especially for free players. Now Clash Royale is actually a pretty well balanced game at the lower levels. At higher levels, it's not. It's not even kind of a balanced game. Whoever has some certain cards, namely legendary cards, has a distinct advantage. And you can play this game for a really long time and not get one, meaning you're stuck in the lower level areas. And if you do come across somebody at a lower level who has a legendary card, and it does happen because there are people with money, they just stomp you to bits. Generally you don't. Usually low level people tend to have a similar card set to yours, if you're low level. But some other people manage to squeak in there. Number seven, as a matter of fact, let's talk about those people who manage to squeak in. High level players managing to get into the lower arenas is super annoying. I don't know why you would do it. It wrecks your stats, but people do it actually a fair amount. When I was low level, every once in a while, I would come across somebody who's like level nine in arena two. And I was like, what, what are you doing? Because you get up in arena six and regularly battle people at level eight and nine. I mean, yeah, it's obviously so you can get some coins, open four chests every day as well as get a crown chest, but come on. And let's be frank, a level nine versus a level three is easy. A pretty big no duh who's gonna win. And I think they've made some moves to curtail this from happening, but I've seen people complain about it. But the other thing I notice is that other people don't typically know how to word it because it seems so counterintuitive that you would want to do that. I don't want to spend time in the lower arenas. It's too easy. It's kind of like poaching. It feels dirty. Number six, when your opponent's minion horde is just high level enough that one shot from your archers does not kill them. Those bastards can do a lot of damage very quick, but they're also very easy to defeat if you're at a certain level. You can drop a baby dragon or an archer and get rid of them fairly fast, but there's a very fine line that if they cross, it takes two arrows to kill them. And since there's so many of them, they often get to your archers before you can kill too many of them. Oh, and it's frustrating. It's not a happy time. I haven't thrown a phone in a long time, but I've come very close when minions take two arrows to kill. It's like, go, oh, what do I even do this for? Number five, when you just change up your deck to include something that can counter those stupid royal giants, and it takes like 20 seconds to find the match. I realize, relatively speaking, that 20 seconds is not that many seconds compared to how many my day is comprised of. But 20 seconds sitting there looking at that stupid image with these tips that I absolutely do not need to hear again, I sometimes wonder if I personally am going to spontaneously combust before I find a match. Seriously, can you think of anything more anxiety-inducing than sitting there and waiting for a match? 
Once it starts taking longer than four or five seconds, you're like, oh, what is happening? Is this not gonna work? Am I just literally wasting my time here? Am I sitting here for no good reason? And then you start to break around the 15 second mark and you're like, oh shit, the apocalypse must have begun. There are no other players out there. Why have I not seen the signs? Am I the last? At 19 seconds, it hits a match and you're like, oh, all right. Oh, it's good, civilization's still here. Oh, I'm gonna order a pizza. Number four, at night, when you're just about to go to bed, you open up Clash Royale, you open up that silver chest that just got done because you've timed everything out perfectly, you set another silver chest to open because you don't have any gold ones, and you get into a match, and you win, and it's a gold chest. Depending exactly on how hardcore about this game you are, you go, oh, well, what's another three hours? I can be exhausted tomorrow, that's fine. I don't want to miss out on the gold chest overnight move, which classic Clash Royale move. I sleep for eight hours, the chest takes eight hours. It just makes sense. Number three, when you open a giant chest or a crown chest or a magical chest, and do you know what I hate getting? A shit ton of expos. You know how often I use those expos? I don't, I never use expos. Number two, when my opponent can easily end everything and attack my king tower, finishing me, but I still have a small window to where I could probably get at least a crown out of this damn match, but they still defend their crown tower. They're like, nope, you're not getting anything out of this. And finally, number one, three words, free to play. One more word, microtransactions. If you played this game entirely with free players, this would actually be a fairly balanced game. And oftentimes, that's what you're doing. But the free currency in this game, just like most other games, is entirely worthless. I've seen people do the math that says it could take anywhere from 4 to 14 years to max out every card in this game, depending on what cards the game throws at you, if you don't pay. And frankly, that's bullshit. This is a little micro RTS game, and frankly, I love the game style. It's a lot of fun, and I have wasted a lot of time on it. But I don't have any delusions of ever maxing out the cards in this game because I refuse to pay to play. Yes, you could win if you have all the time in the world and somehow magically were able to erase the wait time on everything, but that's just not possible. There's no way for you to... Oh yeah, there is actually a way. It's called paying them money. It's gotten to the point where microtransactions make games significantly less fun. And that's the point of them, right? Now yes, I'm happy to be playing the game. But at some point, this is going to stop working. Publishers have to know that. The well is going to run dry eventually. Ah, it's so frustrating. Okay, end rant, end rant. I gotta go take a blood thinner or something. But you, on the other hand, oh, you have a comment section to fill up with your opinions on what Clash Royale players hate. Let's meet down there. I am very interested to read what you guys have to say about this list, as well as your own personal fountains of frustration. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week, and the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time right here on GameRanks.